You got to have God. I'm telling you real. You try this without God, you're tripping. You need God, man. Life is hard. See, for every time you have a plan, a dream, do you know what happens every time you have one of those? This thing comes along called life. Life has disappointments. It's got peaks and valleys. You're going to lose somebody you care about one day. Somebody going to fire you for an unjust cause. That's a valley. Prayer and a relationship with God gives you the tools and the weapons to handle life. That's a false hope to think you're going to have a wonderfully carefree life. That's unthinkable. Don't take the presence of the storm to indicate the absence of God. Sometimes when you enter into a storm, and there are all kinds of storms, health storms, financial storms, there are all kinds of storms, undetectable storms, they're, they're jealous of the car you're driving, not knowing that it's two payments behind. They're envious of the position that you were promoted to, not knowing that now that you're promoted into that position, you can't even rest at night. You've got so much pressure and so much responsibility on you. And when we get in a storm, we have a tendency to wonder, where is God? Because we buy into this notion that if God was with us, we would have no storm. That if God were really with us, everything would go smoothly. If God were really with us, our bills would be paid. How could God be with us and us be in foreclosure? How could my kid die and God be with me? I looked for him. I didn't see him. I thought he'd lead the way. I didn't see him. But you cannot see in a storm. That's why he told you to walk by faith and not by sight. Don't look for God to be sensual in your storm. He will not appeal to your senses. But just because you are in the presence of a storm, the storm does not negate the presence of God, nor does it indicate the absence of God. He is with you in the storm. He promised. Anytime God promises you something, get ready for trouble. I never promise the obvious. I never promise my wife, I promise you I'll be a black man. I promise you I'll remain a male. You never promise the obvious. You give a promise when you know that something is going to come to make you doubt. Whenever God promises you something, he says you may not have it in your sensual realm right now, but I promise you, I am in there with you. You may not see me, you may not sense me, but I tell you what, all the while you stroke it in the water, understand you are not stroking by yourself. And are you steering your life based on what you see? Or are you steering your life based on what you believe? You don't steer through the storm based on the conditions of the storm. You steer through the storm based on the solidarity of your faith. This too shall pass. When we see the dark clouds coming, let's settle the end from the beginning. I am coming out of this. I am coming out of this. Tell your neighbor, I am coming out of this. I don't know where the money's coming from, but I am coming out of this. Oh my God, I wish I had some faith in this room. You ought to make a declaration right now. I am coming out of this. I don't know what all I'm gonna have to go through to get to the end of it. I may have to crawl, I may have to cry, I may have to suffer, but when everything is said and done, I will come out of this.
because he's with me. He's with me. I don't know whether you're with me, I don't know whether you're with me, but I know I got at least one passenger. The Lord is with me in the storm. Don't allow the presence of the storm to make you doubt the presence of God. But when we face difficulties and things aren't going our way, our finances haven't turned around, doesn't seem like we have favor. We have all these obstacles. But having favor doesn't mean you won't have challenges. Favor is what's keeping those challenges from defeating you. Favor is what's keeping that sickness from taking your life. If you didn't have favor, you wouldn't still be here. You may not recognize it, but you have favor in the storm. The scripture says God's favor surrounds you. It's with you in the good times and in the tough times. When we're in the middle of a difficulty, sometimes we don't recognize that we have favor. What if I don't get well? What if my child doesn't get back on course? You could live worried or stay in peace. You have favor in the storm. There is a force working for you in the middle of the storm that is greater than any force that's trying to stop you. Trouble, sickness, it looks frightening, but keep the right perspective. It cannot defeat you. The favor God put on your life is going to bring you safely through. What he has purposed for your life will come to pass. No sickness, no addiction, no person. God is in control. And sometimes we're so focused on the threat, we don't recognize that without the goodness of God, we wouldn't still be standing. In the middle of that difficulty, you need to remind yourself who you are. You've been handpicked by God. He said he always causes you to triumph. He's steadying you. He's making you stronger. If you could see behind the scenes, you would see him making your crooked places straight lining up the right people. Instead of complaining about the storm, you need to let the enemy know you are not going to get the best of me. You may knock me down, but you can't knock me out. You don't have to live worried, wondering why it happened. You know a secret, you have favor in the storm. You know what was meant for harm, he's turning to your advantage. The enemy wouldn't be fighting you if you weren't a threat. He knows you're about to step into a new level. You're about to come into your promised land. He can sense God's about to exceed your expectations. So he's working overtime to try to get you worried, overwhelmed by problems. Now get ready. Favor is about to turn things around. Well, Joel, if I had favor, why did I have these problems in the first place? God wouldn't have allowed it if he didn't have a purpose. Sometimes life is not fair, but you have to trust that God knows what he's doing. And you may not like the difficulty, but you're going to come out of that storm free from things that would have held you back your whole life. That sickness, that trouble at work, the loneliness is not your destiny. Freedom is coming. Abundance is coming. What's trying to stop you is only temporary. He didn't send you into the storm by yourself. He's right there with you. And the scripture says, do not be intimidated by your enemies. It's no match for our God. Don't be intimidated by the financial setback. You keep honoring God, being your best. You will come to a point where you see that no more. You will flourish even in a famine. You don't have to get out of the difficulty to succeed. God will cause you to succeed in the middle of the trouble. Thank you that you're opening doors no man can shut. Bring in opportunity. Thank you that whatever I touch will prosper and succeed. God has some unexpected blessings, things you don't see coming. 